What's up people, it's your boy Fitch and today I'm going to show you how to export video on Premiere Pro like a pro. So alright everyone, this process that I'm going to be doing will be on the iMac, so on Mac OS, but you can also do this on Premiere uh, on Windows, it will work the same way. So first of all, what I do is that I make sure that like I am on my timeline. This is my timeline. You can see my beautiful face right there. So I make sure I click on my timeline. Do not have your uh, that little blue line here. Do not have it on here because it will not export. So make sure that this blue line here, this blue square, it's on your timeline. So make sure you don't have any more footage that's left on the right. Uh, because it's gonna include these so make sure that this is your whole uh, video uh, that's the first thing uh, next thing you want to do is that you want to go on file and then you want to go on export and then export you go on, you want to go on media from there you're gonna see this window pop up so uh, there's a lot of things that you can go through but uh first I, you want to make sure that the format is at h.264 obviously if you're shooting at h.264 but uh usually you want it to be at h.264 uh the next thing is the preset so i already have a custom preset but uh for the sake of this video we're gonna start uh by going down because uh premiere pro already has a custom preset for youtube so depending on what the quality of your video was so if you if you shot your video on 1080p then you'll go on youtube 1080p if you shot your video in 4k you'll go on youtube 4k so if you want to see exactly what was the quality or the uh uh, uh the uh quality of your source you're gonna go in uh, summary right here and then you're gonna go on source so you see that your source here shows you for me that it was shot in 1920 by 1080p so uh, my uh, footage is 1080p uh, at 29.97 frame per second so I'm gonna go on YouTube 1080p HD if your video was shot in 720p then you tell like YouTube 720p then you're gonna stay on video go down uh, if you want you can also change the name of your output. I'm going to call it test. Uh, I already have a test. Okay. So uh, I'm going to call it test three. And then uh, and video. You don't want to change any of the basic video settings. You don't want to change the width and height, the frame rate, none of that. But you want to click render at maximum depth. So basically, it's going to increase the quality of your video, but it will take longer. But if you have more time, please select that because it will be better for your video. The next thing you want to do, you don't want to uh, touch anything when it comes to encoding setting. Leave it like this. Now, when you're going to go down uh, on bitrate settings, so... Um, you can select and keep it on VBR one pass and it will be pretty good. But I'd rather have it on a VBR two pass. It will take longer, but it will be, uh, it will make sure that like it's gonna go twice on the footage when it's encoding it to make sure uh, that it's not, uh, that it's exporting, exporting it correctly. Uh, so I leave the target bit rate at about 16 because you could put it higher, it would increase the size, but YouTube is going to down compress uh, your your uh, your footage nonetheless when you're going to uh, import it into YouTube. So just leave it at 16. Then I put the maximum bit rate at 24. And that's about it for there. Uh, don't uh, do anything for, for keyframe or for VR video. Uh, down here, you're going to click use maximum render quality. Okay, make sure you select that. Uh, after that, uh, that is pretty much everything. One more thing that, I, that I'd say you should do is that you should save this preset as a custom preset. So when you do save, you can put a name to the preset and then uh, once you need to export new footage, uh, this preset will be there and you'll be able to use it uh, whenever you want. So you don't have to do this process again. Okay, so you do that and then you go on export. Uh, or if you have Adobe uh, Media Encoder, you can 
go in queue and still use your and your premiere pro while it's exporting so you just go and export and then it will start exporting see how it says pass one because it's going to do one pass first and then a second pass to have a better quality so uh that was pretty much everything guys so this is how you export uh your footage for youtube uh, from premiere pro if you guys want me to do a video uh for imovie or for final cut pro let me know and i'll do the same and uh thank you for watching